Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I just like had a epiphany. Today is the 1st of December, which means I get married tomorrow. <laughs> and you're probably like, why the hell are you just sitting at home in your room so calm? And the answer to that question is I'm not. I may seem calm on the outside, but on the inside it is like turmoil, complete and utter madness. Quick backstory, uh, we were meant to travel up to like the town that I'm getting married in yesterday, but like I said, I realized that things actually needed to be done. And I was like, you know what? Like the whole idea behind it was that we would go up like two nights early and just like relax and chill out. But I was like, I'm not gonna be able to relax. Like there's things that I wanna do. Like I wanted to do my nails, my toenails, uh, my tan, which is, is really really dark if you couldn't tell I, I don't like putting tan on my face because it breaks me out like every single time So there's nothing on my face, but my body is quite dark, which is fine. Obviously be, Obviously, I've got like my tan colored foundation I haven't washed my hair for a week saving that until tonight or tomorrow, but yeah, I was like there's just so many things that I Would prefer to do at home rather than like taking my tan with me and everything like that. So here we are, the day before the wedding, and I've just loaded everything into the car that I need to take with me. Or at least I'm pretty sure I've got everything in the car that I need to take with me. Uh, I didn't make a list, I just sort of eyeballed it. So, looking around, I'm pretty sure I've got everything, but I feel like I was so organised and then out of nowhere I just felt completely unorganised. Like, I realised just yesterday that I hadn't even practised doing my wedding makeup because I'm doing my own makeup. But I'm, I'm just weird like that. I don't like people doing my makeup. I feel like I never look like myself if someone else does my makeup. But it's going to be really, really good. Like I mentioned a few videos ago, like I just feel like I've planned the most perfect wedding and it's so crazy. I have so many feelings. Like the main one is I can't believe I'm this old. <laughs> Like, actually, it's just so wild to me that this this little girl over here is doing a very uh, adult thing and actually marrying somebody. Like, isn't that just so wild? But, yeah, I just need to throw a few more things in the car and then heading down or up to the place. Uh, it's a really beautiful little town that we're getting married in. The venue is stunning. And I'm excited to see where we're staying tonight because it's like a little like farm cottage with like cows and things and I think it's just going to be really relaxing. So yeah, I'm going to head up there. It's only me and my bridesmaids and Clay's mum is going to be there too. And then bright and early tomorrow we will head into the venue. And this vlog is sort of going to be, sorry, this is literally the longest intro ever, but this vlog is going to be sort of behind the scenes because we do have a videographer that was a really important thing for me one of the first things that I booked for the wedding was the video man and there's also obviously a photographer but I just wanted to do a little like behind the scenes video from my perspective we are leaving we're going and it's gonna be beautiful and we're gonna relax and we're not gonna worry about anything that's gonna happen tomorrow because guess what tomorrow's the day if we get there and we hate the flowers too bad just gotta roll with it and roll with it we shall I'm so happy you guys are here and that I can share my life with you guys and that you even care and it's just so crazy to me but <sighs> what a wild time and then you know what when all this is over we're putting up the bloody Christmas tree because it arrived yesterday finally oh my god I feel like I've been waiting forever but it's here finally waiting to be set up it's a two two boxer i can't even believe it but anyway let's go Looks like I'm in a bamboo forest. This is so freaking cute. Like this little random cottage. We're in Berry, by the way. Uh, are we in Berry? Yeah. No, we're in Jasper's Brush, which is basically Berry, which is almost an hour. Just to give you an idea. 
<laughs> you guys, this place is so strange and so it's just really cool. Why can I hear people? Anyway, it looks like I'm in a bamboo rainforest, but this is where we're staying. You guys are just going to be like, um, Tori, what is this? This is the little cottage that we're in for the night and it is actually humongous. Uh, it's really, I don't even know, it's super old, but I think it's open. <laughs> Here we go. It sort of reminds me a little bit of how Dad's house used to be. Isn't it so cute? I just love that. We have Sissy Belle, she's back again. We've got Dawn. Hello, hello, hello. She's just into the wine already. <laughs> Look how cute this kitchen is. And we've got lovely views of the paddocks. It's such a nice day. Oh, the clouds coming over. The girls are putting together a cheese board. I don't know what this camera's doing. It's really struggling to autofocus for some reason. Belle's done an amazing job. She's good. Kiggle good girl. job, good job. Kiggle girl. Uh, yeah, so this I is like, I like, I like Bell too. <laughs> Thank you. Look at how it's stinking cute. Time. Oops. Can I get it open? Look how cute this lady's tea stuff is. I'm just into everybody's things. We have a little dining, <laughs> dining room. So cute. I just love the vibe. Got like the laundry. Here's the bathroom. Again, like, just like old school vibes, except it actually is quite obviously very old. Uh, we've got some bedrooms. It's just so, this whole house is just so random and so cool and so pretty. And I feel like it's just what I need to just like zen out, not staying in some crazy hotel with elevators. Like this is all I want to look at right now, except back out there. We have a little lounge room, fireplace, we've got a cow, and then my room, and that's just a walk-in wardrobe, but isn't it? It's just so cute, like I wish I could just, this is just the vibe. Super relaxing. Oh, this bed's actually really comfy. Yeah, I just did a lot of self-reflecting on the way here and just like yeah I've, I'm just being super sentimental and weird the last few weeks and probably not myself to be honest but yeah I don't know like Clay is just literally a perfect human and I am I feel like I'm just so far from perfect human and that's like that is probably just like way too deep to be putting on the internet but I just feel so lucky. <laughs> I have no words and I suck at explaining how I feel, but yeah. I just feel like a very, very lucky girl and just woke up one day and out of nowhere was literally just living my dream life and yeah, it's so bizarre. Like even like look at this. If you can just ignore Dawn and Belle in the background, like the breeze coming through the window, like off the mountains, like how is this even real? Can you guys see this? In other news, Clay called me before and he said that he he had to drop in to the venue to drop off the alcohol for tomorrow. And he said that they've started setting it up and it is just next level. He's like, you will just, you're gonna love it. <laughs> I was like, did you take some photos? He's like, no. I can't wait to see it and I'm, I don't know, I'm like really, I'm getting really excited now but I am just so freaking scared. Like I can hardly deal with everybody saying happy birthday to me on my birthday, let alone like all the attention tomorrow is just gonna, is gonna kill me. But yeah, I'm gonna vlog the best that I can and this video is gonna be really all over the place but yeah, I'm just really glad you guys are here with me. still haven't washed my hair which is probably a really bad thing but I was thinking about it and I really just feel better if I wash my hair like in the morning rather than the night before like if it was me doing my hair 
for example, I would wash it in the morning and then do it, if that makes any sense. But I'm in bed. It's been a lovely, a lovely afternoon. We've just been hanging out really and eating food. The girls had some champagne. I have not. I just want to wake up tomorrow super fresh and feeling good, not feeling like bloated and tired and if you know what I mean. So anyway, I'm just going to have a little bit of Tory time before I go to sleep. Hopefully I can get some sleep. I love the lighting in this room. I don't know if you guys can tell but it's really like soft and romantic and really pretty but yeah, I'm gonna read my book. This is not religious if you don't know what this is. Uh, this is Daisy Hates by uh, Jessa Hastings and it's the second book in the Magnolia Parks universe. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. But yeah, I'm gonna read a couple of chapters and then I'll probably be awake really really early because they're, they're not actually curtains. They are like uh, shears. So the sun's just gonna be coming straight in here at like 4.30. Can't wait. But yeah, plan for tomorrow is pretty much wake up early or whenever I wake up. Wash my hair, have some brekkie, have a cup of tea, and uh, just take it easy. And then 9 a.m., it all kicks off. Drive down the road to the venue, and yeah, straight into makeup and hair. And there's a high tea service that's going to be being served all day to the girls. And then the boys have something similar, but this doesn't start until 12 o'clock. Was I really scared? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. See you guys in the morning for literally like the biggest freaking day of my life, really. I am just looking like hell right now. I can't wait to wash my hair. Okay. Good night. <laughs> what a beautiful day to get married. It's been raining this morning. <laughs> But it's still super early. Good morning, everybody. Today's the bloody day, isn't it? 7.02 on Friday, 2nd of December, 2022. I got up, washed my hair. Don't tell Rhiannon. She'll kill me. And Sam's put together a little fruit platter out here. It's very... Yeah, it's, it's been attacked big time, but beautiful. All right, everybody. It's like 10 to 9 and we're heading to the venue now and I probably should have left like 20 minutes ago but it's pouring rain. It's just, I feel like it's going to be a slow morning but it's supposed to stop raining at 11 so I'll see you guys when we get there. Ah! We're here and oh my god, I cannot, I cannot actually believe it. Oh my god, I'm here to get married. What the hell? <gasps> okay everybody, welcome to the bridal salon. Isn't this so crazy? Oh my god. Look at this. Like, what? What in the heck? It's so beautiful. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh my god. Um, we have a sky now with some Spanx. Oh. It's just so pretty. Oh my goodness. Gracious me. Stunning. Stunning. Girls have got their robes on. How is that? Delicious. Yum. I uh, purchased some little like satin slippy dresses for today. I put the first one on. I really should have tried them on, but I put the first one on. It's terrible. So this is what we're wearing today. It has little like tie in the back. It's actually really nice. I swear. And my little fluffy slippers. <laughs> Cam! Alright, this completes the ensemble. I'm not sure if this is cute or... Really not cute. That's cool. Is it cute or not? I love that. It's obviously way too long, but... That's okay. I don't know. I don't even know what day of, week, day of the week it is. It's Friday. It's Friday. Where is Sam? Sam's on top of the cake. Look how beautiful. It comes out small, like in photos, but this thing is huge. Like, it is, it is quite large. It is a monster. 
Love that we're in this really pretty place listening to Max Miller. Her? Her. I got a dress I need to fit into. <laughs> Gosh. They're the cutest little scums in the world. Look at those. Oh. Uh, I want all of these. What the hell? How beautiful. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Wow. Yes, what? Oh. Are you okay with oh, yes. that? Yeah. What you have. That's adorable. Yeah. Oh, cute. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, beautiful. Stunning. Very excited. Yay. This is crazy. I cannot like, in my head this still is not like, it's just so weird. Ah! <laughs> we need to put your flower crowns on and you can't take it off, you gotta leave it. Kawa, hey, you wanna put your flower crown on? Did you find yes. it? Just oh, find no, it. no, I didn't. Update on my Jimmy Choo is lost the uh, little diamond thing off the back of one of them. It's pretty funny, huh? Considering I paid so much money for them and then they break. Oh dear. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Kobe. Kobe! You're too beautiful to be crying. Gorgeous crown for a gorgeous girl. I don't know you're so Pretty. It's okay. Smell. Gorgeous. You guys look beautiful. Hey, can you both look at Auntie? Hey. Hey. Hey, gorgeous. Alright, everybody. I think that's going to be it for me. Um, I am going to just chill out, drink some champagne, 
see you guys on the flip side. Hectic. I do realize this lighting is just like completely horrid, but this has easily just been, I know everybody says this, but like the best night of my entire life. Like it was just magical, surrounded by all our friends and family and the people that are just most special to us. And it was just beautiful and it went so fast and I look extremely rough in this light. I swear I don't feel as rough as I look, but um, yeah, everybody's pretty much gone except for everybody that's staying here. And we are just hanging out in the gentleman's club by we, I mean literally like the last standing survivors, which is me, Clay's mum and Clay. And I am <laughs> a married woman, Mrs. Falzong. That is so wild, but um, I just really wanted to show you guys where we're hanging out because it is stunning, just like the rest of this place, obviously. So let's go over there. Um, can't even open the door apparently. <laughs> it is directly across from our other room. Um, just here we have the pool. I don't know if you can see that too well, but it's got a little like checkers in the bottom. It's very cute. Here we are. Look how gorgeous. Dad wanted to go to bed. Hello? Dad's been in the room with the boys. Oh my goodness. Where? It's a brawl. Look how pretty. I'm not going to have Clay, you go. It's my wedding night. And then we're here. And you'll just notice this. So obviously, I had to pick it up. And this is a legit book like are you actually kidding me what the hell stunning it's beautiful like how oh, wow. <laughs> you don't look so fresh. <laughs> no, I ain't fresh. I'm beyond fresh. <laughs> I'm like a overripe potato right now. Overripe potato. You grown some ears. <laughs> Wait, is that what potatoes grow ears? Yeah, well, I've got plenty then. Plenty. <laughs> This room is so pretty, please. Uh, don't mind that I apparently don't know how to open a curtain. But <laughs> it looks like he literally woke up in a rainforest. Wait. Good morning. Not gonna lie, I woke up extremely disoriented this morning. How about you? <laughs> Way too disoriented. Do you think it is 10 out of 10? Yep. Very disoriented. It's hot. It's hot. Mm. Oh yeah, I put the little air you con on like 30. You put the air con on and <laughs> boiled it. Uh, yeah. yeah, before we went to bed I was like, finally figured out how to use the heater. And uh, yeah, I just left it on and then we woke up at probably like 4 o'clock. I, I was dead. I was wondering why I couldn't sleep. There's I was like, no why are we still up? There's no air in here. And then... <laughs> If we could like stay in bed until one o'clock today, I probably would. Because mm. how tired I feel. <laughs> I could just not get up. Yeah, I could just also not get up. Yeah, I could just, also just like we've got all like responsibilities a... just get thrown out the window right now. Yeah. We're the person's wedding. I'm staying here. Yeah. Oh, we come with the room. What room? What are you talking about? <laughs> this place is crazy. They just do like pretty much back to back. Weddings like Friday, Saturday. How stressful! I could not do that. But anyway, 
Your wedding tip. Have it on a Friday because no one else has it on a Thursday. Yeah, wedding tip. For sure. Oh, definitely have your wedding on a Friday because then your venue is not rushing to set up. Yep, so you get everything perfect. And another pro tip, you get two days to, to recover. Yeah, it's the weekend now. Mm. And our very first wedding anniversary will also be on a Saturday. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. But um, this morning, we do actually have to get up. That's why my alarm just went out. Because we have a brekkie this morning. Across <laughs> in like the... What do they call it? The main like... Is the main entrance? Main hall? <gasps> Maybe. Where we are basically... Oh god, back in the day it used to be like a old like schoolhouse and um it's in like Brecky's in like the old schoolhouse and it's beautiful. They've got like a baby grand piano and uh just more crazy stuff. Like they literally have a freaking gramophone. I was like, what's it called? A gramophone. Like they literally have a gramophone here. I should have grabbed my, I wish I sort of grabbed my camera last night when, like, it was the actual reception, but I was like, you know what, no, I'm not going to do that, I just want to be here with my eyeballs and my ear holes and not. Well, you had, you had a videographer. Exactly, and not be putting a camera in my face because we literally hired somebody to do that. To do it for us. And I'm quite certain he did an excellent job. Like, I cannot wait to see how his video turns out. Yeah, wow. He was actually, like, filming flat out. Just the photographer and the videographer. They work together often, I'm pretty sure. Like, they know each other. They they do know each other. I, I'm certain about that. But, yeah, I think they work together pretty often. And they really just were absolutely, like, they work so perfectly together. They were just, like, feeding off of each other and like yeah like I'm pretty sure that every photo we have like there's a video for that moment too which is pretty special yeah. but we need to get yeah. to bed I don't have a shower. I'm just laying here like looking at this room like it's just so I mean we've obviously trashed it but oh we've trashed it it's so cute it's so cute <gasps> look at these corners like yeah. oh, I love fancy cornices <laughs> so beautiful this lady just has the most insane eyeball for detail like she's crazy Hi, oh good morning it's piano good morning the air con was probably on good morning cheeky girls good morning oh aggressive kisses Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Um, what do we got up here? Wow. Oh, I love a buffet. That life. Yum. <laughs> this table looks huge on camera. <laughs> beautiful. Look how beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow. Just stunning. Kobe. <laughs> oh, Kobe. The gang, look at this team squad. Everybody's just scared. I love that. <laughs> I'm a little bit sad that we have to leave, that we can't just like stay here for like. This is like a little um, salon there that we can just get a yeah, massage. Yeah, get a massage. Like, have there's a so much to this place that is obviously not even in this vlog, which is very sad. Maybe we can like just run in there now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be out of your hair in a sec. <laughs> Sun is gorgeous. Here's the pool. I think I showed you guys the pool last night, but here it is in the daytime. It's just lovely. We are good to go. One more bag. And that's us, I think. Do a little sweep of the room. It looks very fresh and cute. That's it. I love this, like, how beautiful. Be no, it's the cleaning. They it's have bloody signs for everything. I just never want to leave. Here yeah. we have the magic fireway tree. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> okay. I'm talking about you. Oh, me? Okay. <laughs> 
Look how gorgeous. I just feel like the camera doesn't, it doesn't even do it justice, how beautiful it is. Wild. Look how pretty. Gorgeous. Just a quick little tour in here, just some uh, koi fish. feel like this is the most relaxing thing I could just watch these fish for hours. Alright, what's left? Nice. Right. Nice. Is there, nice. Is there a wedding yesterday? There's so much booze. It's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. This is great. There's so many flowers left over. It is actually crazy. Yeah, make sure you grab your bouquet. Are you going to take your bouquet? That's really good, yeah. Do you want the bouquet? No, no, but we should take them. Um, this is only like half of what is left over, by the way. This has been ransacked by the fam, but... What do you so want, Corey? Um, so um, the bouquets? And then everyone else can yeah. grab them. Oh, yeah. So beautiful. So stunning. I just never get tired of looking at that, like... <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, <laughs> we are out of here. We're going. That's it. We're done. Home time. Home time. I know that this video is all over the place, but uh, I'm probably gonna leave it there for a couple of days and then finish the vlog when we get home. <laughs> We're getting Have vlogged Radzi. on vlog. Have Radzi. Inception. <laughs> Inception. Inception. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, All right. See I you see guys you. home. Hello everybody, it's um, two days later, I don't even know where the time has gone. Uh, we're back home, we just did the biggest grocery shop ever, and if I knew that getting married meant that Clay was going to come do groceries with me, then I would have gotten married a long time ago, because it was really nice to have to do them by myself. But we're still just like tying up all the loose ends, boiling the kettle right now, because we're about to, we have not tried our wedding cake, no. no. So, this is what's left of it. Please don't don't mind the pile of stuff there. Like I said, we just want to go for issues and that stuff just needs to be put away. But this is what's left of our cake. So the bottom layer was orange and poppy seed, which is my favorite. Or is that your favorite too? Mm. It's, it's our favorite. The top, very top layer. God, I can't even talk. The very top layer is lemon. And then there was a layer in between, which was... Was it a vanilla? I think it was just we're gonna have a cup of tea, try our cake. The entire house right now is just covered in wow. flowers and it just looks beautiful. You having tea? Yeah, I'm gonna have a tea. Um, I really just wish that, I mean, the house is obviously trash, so just ignore that, but um, I just am loving that there's flowers literally everywhere. We've got our marriage certificate, like, isn't that crazy? And, um,. More flowers, <laughs> and then in here, more flowers. Like, it's just blue, <laughs> it's just so nice. I wish this was the norm, and then the rest of the flowers um, we gave to like friends and family, and yeah, there was just an obscene amount of flowers. Oh, and look, there's some more on the dining table. Um, God, I'm actually, I'm so embarrassed that I'm actually like just walking around the house showing you guys how like there's just crap over at the moment but look how cute I just love it this is where I'm drying all the washing it's also in the most beautiful days I've got so much washing on the line at the moment but yeah it's been a crazy couple of days like I feel like time's just gone so fast and I haven't even put up the Christmas tree at this point in time I don't know when you guys are seeing this I think I'm gonna put this vlog up after oh. we get our actual video back so yeah, there's not really a whole lot that we've been doing aside from just like tying up all the loose ends. We took heaps of alcohol back to Dan Murphy's. Fun fact, if you actually go and buy your alcohol. Oh, Dan Murphy's secret's coming out. Yeah, this is a big secret. If you go and buy your alcohol from Dan Murphy's and have a Dan Murphy's account, like a card thing, not an account, like a club card thing, you don't even need your receipt when you take your alcohol back and we got so much money back from that. Even after we divvied up the rest of the alcohol amongst the family as well. Yeah. like. 
It's been crazy. But still keep a receipt just in case. Depends who you get, I reckon. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would still keep a receipt because in my head that's just how it works. But, um, yeah, I'm just wondering if there's anything else related to the wedding that I didn't show you guys. I don't think I really showed you guys the cookies. It's a little bit of it squished, but the icing did, um, the icing was like sticking up out of these. You get the, uh, you get the idea. Me and Sam made these. It was mostly Sam. I just pressed the stamp, but they were a little uh, like gifts for everybody, wedding gifts on the table with the place card names. But yeah, I feel like that is pretty much everything Quite left cake. to sort of say about the wedding. Yeah, we're gonna try the cake, and I think that's gonna be it for this vlog. I can't believe we got married. What? We got married and my rings are twisted all the time. I think I'm gonna get them soldered together. These clay's ring as well. We had we had them both custom made. I think you guys know the story behind my ring. Oh my god, it's all twisted, but whatever. Um hold on, hold on. So here's a little close up of my ring, if you um, can see that. It is going to be like a little sun or like a flower when it's completed one day when I get my eternity ring clay. Mm. <laughs> uh, I just love it. I think it's beautiful. And then Clay's ring. We did a arrow for Clay. There's no significance to it other than it's his wedding ring and he likes hunting, so it's an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> but, <Perfect>. yeah. <laughs> but, no, this is really zoomed, isn't it? Hey, Dwayne. Hey. That's going to be it for this vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, be sure to smash the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here with us. It really just means the whole world to me that I can even just share any part of my life with you guys. So Stick yeah. with me. Stick with me. Because we are cool. Okay, everybody just left. Love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye. Shadow in my room Caught between cows